Zayas gets his 17th victory, 11th knockout after a streak of decision wins in his first scheduled 10 rounder. And he's with our Mark Kriegel. Xander, was that your best performance? First off, like always, and I'm sorry, I would like to speak to my, to my people in Puerto Rico. Gracias a todos ustedes por siempre estar presente. Gracias a todos los que vieron la cita por estar aquí hoy. Y segundo, con todo mi respeto, quiero desearle un buen día de la independencia a México, a todos mis fanáticos mexicanos alrededor del mundo. Sin ustedes, el boxeo no sería lo mismo. Give me a quick translation. I said thank you to all the fans in Puerto Rico. Thank you to all the fans that came out. Secondly, I want to thank, respectfully, you know, thank all my Mexican fans that came out and all my fans around the world. What about your Mexican fans now? You made a point tonight. Man, I, like I told you, I, I came here to do a goal. I came here to set and let everybody know at 154 that I'm coming for everything. You heard it there from the man himself, Xander Zayas, now 17 and 11 KOs successfully defended his NABO and NABF belts against Roberto Valenzuela Jr. I mean, just dominant performance. This guy, he could fight moving backwards. He could get busy, you know, in the in a phone booth. He could he could throw hands in the phone booth. You know, he, he knocked Valenzuela down uh, with the with the quick jab, knocked him down twice uh, in the round. I mean, the the second knockdown, you know, they they kind of. He kind of tripped a little bit. Zaya is, uh, you know, he, he kind of he kind of pushed him, but that's, that's pretty common in boxing. But he he hit him with the with the nice, you know, left hook that that made him lose his balance. But you know, shout out to Valenzuela, man. He he was a soldier, man. He had a, a mean cut over his nose, and he kept wanting to fight. But they ended up stopping it in the fifth round. He, even if he wasn't cut, this was you know he, he wasn't no match for for Xander Zaya. Zaya's too quick. Jab was too quick. The footwork, the feints. This kid has it all at 154. I mean, call, call me crazy, but I think he could beat Tim Zhu if they fought. If they fought in January, he would beat Tim Zhu. I'm, I'm telling you right now, he would beat Tim Zhu. Put a thousand push-ups on it. Drop a comment down below. It's your boy Dro, Dro Fast TV. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share.